So the ACLU is finally concerned. I wonder why, because uh, for so long, I, I think since 2016, people were getting censored from social media left and right. Have you lived those times? Wasn't that long ago, right? And the ACLU was nowhere to be found. I was searching for them. Day and night, in the nighttime, I had a little candle. I was going around trying to search. The ACLU, where are you? Where are you? They're here now. They're here now because uh, apparently uh, left-leaning prestigious individuals, multiple journalists, right? Including uh, some that I've never heard about have been suspended from X and no reason was given. Wow, this is so strange. Have you ever heard about a single person that has been suspended from a social media platform with no reason whatsoever? To be honest, now it's more often than not. I mean, it's, it's been happening for years. I, I guess the ACLU was asleep. They were sleepy weepy, you know? Um, I wonder who else sleeps, especially during the night of the elections. Sleepy weepy, you get, you get a little bit sleepy. They get sleepy weepy. They're an old organization, right? They need their rest, so they don't know what's happening. But when they're awake, they know. They only happen to be awake when it's happening to the left. I know so many people that got suspended from YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, or even worse, PayPal. Nigel Farage. I know Nigel Farage is from another country, so it doesn't count, right? Like, the ACLU doesn't reach to Britain. But, but like, it's the same thing. Like, he got debanked without any reason given. Like, what they say is, like, uh, blah, 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 you violated some terms of service somewhere. We don't know. But you, you can file an appeal if you want. We'll reject it anyway. I mean, that, that is the common thing on Twitter, isn't it? That is the common thing on Facebook. That is the common thing on YouTube. Like, when someone gets the platform, it's usually, yeah, you violated something somewhere. Just fuck off. So the ACLU is upset that uh, journalists are being treated like the rest of us. Uh, and they're basically saying that tech companies that hold themselves out as a modern public square have a responsibility to foster free speech. Uh, by the way, ACLU, when the ADL and all of the advertisers were pressuring Twitter to start banning people, where were you? Isn't it hilarious, though? Isn't it very interesting? I, I don't know what to say besides Omoshiroi, but... When the ADL and the companies, the advertisers, are pressuring Twitter to ban speech, the ACLU doesn't say anything. When Twitter does ban speech, the ACLU is very concerned. And all of a sudden, uh, as a modern public square, you have a responsibility. Where were they when the American president got banned from everywhere? I mean, uh, Trump got banned from uh, Twitter, it got banned from Facebook, it got banned from literally all the social media. He got Alex Jones, right? Well, where was the ACLU when Alex Jones was upset? Crickets. Right, so my question to the ACLU has to be this. I know they don't care about me then. Or do they? Do they watch the channel? Huh? Do you guys think they, they must watch the channel because they're concerned about free speech and they know it's like, well, when it comes to free speech, we listen to the Romanian. He knows what's up. Um, why is it that when a blogger or a content creator, an influencer, a YouTuber... Why is it that when we get banned, the ACLU doesn't say anything? Even though many of us have far more traction, more views, more clicks than these journalists. Like at least some people heard of me. I, I don't think anyone has heard about these journalists outside their circle. Isn't it fascinating, right? So like you're basically saying that like what? Like a, a human being who... Gets a job at CNN or the New York Times. That, like, they become a super citizen. That they get touched by divinity. It's like, only CNN can touch a person to make them a journalist. See, this is the thing. Like, in the public mind, there is now a separation between a content creator and a journalist. Or, or even a person on the street. The reality is, all of us are citizens. And we all deserve the same rights. I don't understand why the ACLU only de decides to defend people who are journalists. They're not soldiers. They're not, they're not like an official position. They're not generals. They're not judges. They're not even police officers. They're fucking journalists from a corporate entity. But again, you know, like when they say journalists, it's only the corporate press that counts. Like if you start your own thing, no, you know, the, the idea of freedom of the press is now literally applied to the corporate press. Like, if you happen to have billions of dollars and create your own mainstream media conglomerate, then you have some rights. But even then, you know, don't, don't get Tucker Carlson. I, uh, 
uh, I waited a long time for this. I'm not, I'm not going to miss this opportunity. I, I just gotta say, like, for years I have waited for this. For years I have waited for this, and now it is finally here. Do you know how many times this was shown to me? Every single time a person that I enjoyed watching got banned, I was like, well, you know, they don't get banned. It's just like people are showing them the door. I, and, and you know, guys know my position. My position is, yes, I care about free speech. But you know what I care about more than free speech? Oh my god, V, you care about something more than free speech? Yes! It's something I care more than free speech. And that is the rules should be applied equally to everyone. If you have, like, a place that the rules don't get applied equally, that is not a just place. That is an unjust place. So, so before free speech, before everything else, this is the primordial thing, the number one. All the rules should be applied the same to all the people. There is a reason for this, by the way. It dissuades individuals from supporting tyrannical rules. Because people only support tyrannical rules when they know it won't happen to them. You have individuals that are psychopathic. Psychopathic people do not care what other people suffer. Psychopathic people do care about their self-preservation and what it affects them. So if the rules apply to everyone, sure, you can support whatever rules you want. You can encourage whatever you want. But it can happen to you. And all of a sudden, individuals like, okay, well, you know, if it can happen to me, I shouldn't support it. So uh, when it comes to censorship, I, I don't know. I mean, Jesus, the journalists were the spearhead of it. The corporate press was spearheading censorship. And I was like, dude, your entire job is literally dependent on not being censored. Like, you, you cannot be a journalist if you get censored. And they didn't care, you know. And now that they're getting censored, oh, I should care. Why? The people who spearheaded censorship? Or if they, you know, silence is compliance. Silence is compliant. Maybe they didn't spearhead it, but, but they were compliant. They were silent. So, yeah, I mean, uh, it's just people showing them the door, isn't it? it, it but, but, like, put yourself in my shoes. You know, put yourself in my like, like, what should I do? Defend these individuals? Like, my friends get banned on a weekly basis. The people that I like to watch get banned on a weekly basis. And I should be like, oh, now the people that want me banned are getting banned. So I, I should do my best to defend them. It is interesting. Um, still, if, if I'm going to see that there is a joint effort from the left to demand free speech, and I see that it's uh, honest, and, and they're actually meaningful, and, and they want everyone to benefit from free speech, then yeah, sure. But until then, you know, unlike me, who don't have much choices. I mean, it's pretty much YouTube and that's it. Unlike me, the left has many choices. They got Meta, they got uh, Threads, uh, they got uh, YouTube, uh, they got Twitch. There's many places for, for uh, journalists to go. They have their own publications, you know? Like, well, what am I saying? They, they got their own publications. They got their own uh, uh, websites and their own platforms. But it's kind of difficult to work when you don't have access to Twitter because that, that's what most modern journalists do. Literally, they go on Twitter and they see like what average people have posted and they then they hate the fact that, oh, the average person gets to have the same rights as I do. No, the average person should get banned and the journalist should never. They have the ACLU to defend them, I guess. Still, I, I have no idea why these journalists get banned. People say because they criticize Muskie. Um, I, I don't think that's the case. Uh, but hopefully we will find out why they got banned. It may even be something as simple as a glitch in the system. Who knows? We'll see, I guess. Let me know what you guys think, and as usual, I will see you in the comment section. Take care.